What's up, guys? Today we're here at Ampola Floating Market trying out this street food. Yay! Can't wait to eat. I'm starving. Let's check it out. We're taking a taxi to the floating market today. It costs 2,500 baht there and back, and the taxi driver waits for you until you're done. There are cheaper options like a bus, but we're taking the taxi, yeah. <laughs> So we had to come down and check out this floating market because it's a market that floats. How could I not see a little Thai grandma cooking on a boat? That's gonna be the best experience and you know the food's gonna be delicious. There's a whole bunch of street food here, vendors, souvenirs you can buy too. So we're really excited to check it out. And did I mention uh, how bloody hot it is today? Oh my God, do you see that? This is, oh, Thai people, how do you do it? It is blazing over 35 degrees at this floating market oh my lord you definitely need sunscreen carry a water bottle and hopefully some if you don't like bugs a bit of bug spray would be nice whole bunch of flies here and when they start cooking it's gonna get really hectic it's gonna be a fly party oh guys look see you got the Thai grammars cooking in there a uh, bit of fish grilling some seafood wow very cool how they work in the heat though, man. Props to the Thai people. So this is the first place we're gonna try uh, fish cakes. Look at that. Deep fried in oil, giant wok. It's a fried fish banana blossom. Okay, let's try it. First entree is this little fish blossom snack. It's fried fish, cucumbers, some leaves wrapped in a banana bowl. That looks crazy. I, it, it looks like a honey soy fish. It does, it smells really sweet. Let's try it. Oh, yeah. oh pretty good. Interesting. It's actually really good. <laughs> What's it taste like? A standard fish cake, but it's cooked really well, and the sauce is really nice. It's like a sweet and sour sauce. Yeah. Just a perfect little snack. I have mine with a little bit of cucumber. Mmm, mm, really flavorful fish. The, so it's battered fish with some sort of fish juice in there, because when I bit into it, explosion. Aquaman. I don't know what that means. It's hot, man. It's so hot here. God damn. Very delicious, as you can see. Nice seasoning, spicy, sweet, good stuff. Mm. I like it. So the outside reminds me of a tofu skin, which is delicious. And on the inside, it tastes exactly like fish cake. So you put that together with a sweet and sour sauce, So babe, yes. we ain't going to a floating market and not trying out the floating food. Okay. Let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> it's gonna be gooey, baby. Let's do it. So we decided to eat here to support the Thai ladies that we saw earlier. Here's the menu, a whole bunch of seafood. We ordered the grilled river shrimp and the pad thai seafood. So let's see how that goes. Please make us something beautiful. Tajamas, Tajamas, yeah. I'm watching the Thai Ajimas cook, babe. They actually don't use too many utensils. One of their favorite um, <laughs> tools are the fingers. I see them picking up all types of ingredients. Oh yeah, that's right, I see it, it now too. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God there's some brown water over there. They can just wash their hands, all good. It's part of the experience. Obviously, it's not gonna be the cleanest, but as long as it tastes good, it'll be fine. And it's just part of the cultural experience. Yeah. Look, Oops. she passes it along like oh. that, on that stick, did you see oh, it? Look, look. Oh, 
Oh, I see. And here's our food all done. Thank you. Straight from Thank you. the floating boat. We got our oh, prawns. There's a fly coming already. We got our pad thai, delicious. And look at these giant prawns. Look at them. They're huge. Look at their legs. Mm -hmm. These guys are, could be basketball players for sure. Them long ass limbs. Um, the pad thai looks very delicious. Prawns, pork crisp, bean shoots, tofu and placed on top of a banana leaf. I think that's some sugar on the side there. That's sugar, right? Incredible. Doesn't get more authentic than this. Why and these so prawns. Big? Why is it so <laughs> It's a huge prawn. I feel like you could like crack these open and eat its hands. Um, and a bit of Thai sauce. Looks very spicy and delicious. Let's try it out. A further inspection of this Pad Thai, there's actually also calamari, a few other types of seafood in there. So you get a lot. And that's a big serving for 40 baht. Oh, look at those noodles. Delena swatting away the flies. I don't really mind the flies, they're okay. I've had a few before, delicious protein. When you live in an Asian house with an Asian dad, a lot of flies come through the house. Uh, Delena, however, Vietnamese princess, hates flies. I mean, look at her. She's just okay, swatting the whole time. Okay, I have to tell you guys a story about why I hate flies, but I will tell you that story after we eat. All right, okay. Let's eat first, guys. I'm going to try this pad thai. Let's see how we go. Thank you, Thai Ajima. I see you. She right there. Looking beautiful as ever. Okay, I'm gonna try the pad thai. I'm gonna get a bit of calamari. Sorry, I'm sweating right now. I don't mind if the flies jump on board. I'll have a bit of them too. Don't mind, don't mind. Let's get it, guys. First bite at the floating market. Pad thai. Mm, delicious. A lot of flavors. Nice amount of oil. The sugar adds a little sweetness as well. Um, not bad for a 40 baht pad thai. Interesting stuff. Babe, you want to try? Okay. Pad Thai. <laughs> she doing a Kung Fu fly show right now. <laughs> Guys, that's, how, that's not how you're supposed to eat Pad Thai. That's good. Not bad, right? Mm. Yeah, I'm putting a bit of uh, lime on that. Add that acidity to that sweetness, to the sour. Mm. Very good. This is the only time we, I would like to see a fly squatter, all right? I usually hate them because my grandma used to beat me up with a fly squatter, but now would be very nice. It's actually, it tastes really good for the price that you pay. Like, there's a lot of flavors in there, and plus the prawns are really big as well. There's so a lot of seafood. I feel like it's definitely worth the price. Incredible, yeah. Let's eat some more. Well done. <laughs> it was good. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> These prawns already deshelled for us. Let's have a bite of this. Prawn time. Oh yeah, okay. Not too bad. A little dry. Feels like it's been sitting in the heat for a while and that scares me, but a decent prawn. You get a lot of seafood in this, I get it. They just try to pack as much as they can. It's not gonna be the highest of quality. I mean, it was 40 baht. What do you expect? Delena, getting those prawns ready. I can't wait to try them, especially dipping it in that green, spicy looking sauce. Oh my. I don't know, some people like eat the head and like the tail and the skin, but we're not really into that. Oh, it looks really juicy though. Look at all the juices that come out of this. I don't know if you can see it. Oh, yeah, baby. That's some nice prawns. Can't wait to try it. Seafood in Thailand's amazing. The produce is, they're huge. They're mutated. They're massive. Yeah. But they're juicy and delicious. And I don't mind eating these X-Men prawns. I don't care. Look at that. Now dip it in that it in green sauce. sauce that everyone can see. Ah, you're pouring it. Oh, shit. <laughs> Go for it, babe. It's for you. What? Me? Yeah. Oh, no way. All right. Oh, was that for me too? Hurry, hurry, <laughs> all right, all right. hurry. Hello. Oh, yum. That sauce is what I'm talking about. Beautiful. The prawn itself, a little bit higher quality than the Pad Thai prawn, but um, it is what it is. So cheap, still delicious, and that sauce really makes it. I love it. Oh, there's some nice spices in there. Mm. 
That's such a juicy prawn. The sauce is amazing. It's just, I feel like I can just like eat a spoonful of this. <laughs> wow. Honestly, everything is better than I expected. Like, I wasn't expecting the food to be that good. Oh. Mm. And for so cheap. For me? For me? For you? <laughs> What's your story about hating flies? Listen, Delena hates bugs, so... One day, at home, we had a pack of rib bones that were left over. This guy here left the bones in the garage overnight. And then the next morning, we had all these flies, like, 50 flies that somehow came into the house and about a hundred flies outside the house and I was like what is going on and then I'd like start killing them but then they'd keep coming back coming back at least 500 okay, there was, it was 500 just... flies at minimum you reckon more really that was way more there were so many flies in the house and they just attack you like they weren't normal flies they'll freaking like punch you in the face and like try I'll to freaking you go into your mouth and like just like it was so disgusting and then we had to do a bug bomb thing to kill all the bugs in the house all the flies in the house and then after we did that bug bomb it didn't we work. had like it didn't work. cockroaches that came out oh and I was just like it was so bad okay now you guys probably think we live in like a bug infested house or something but it was just a really bad time and that's why that's so cool. I hate flies. I didn't mind because dinner was prepared for me. I didn't have to go out knowing that 500 flies were in my house already. A great source of protein, especially fried. It was pretty bad though. It was really bad. And I don't know if you know this, but when a fly lands on something, it's like poo is stuck on it. So if it lands on I'm your sure food, people know that. You're eating like the flies' poo as well. So if you have a really weak stomach, is that why it's so tasty? Yeah. If you have a really weak stomach, you probably won't be able to like handle marker food. You probably get a stomach ache from it. But we've trained our stomachs well. Uh, I haven't. I'm eating very slowly so I can break down all the food so I can digest it well. Um, because I, have, I get food poisoning really easy. That's why I don't eat um, crazy, insane foods. It's not even crazy. This it's is just, nice though, this is really just nice. A, just a little unsanitary, just a little unsanitary. <laughs> but it's not that bad. Anyway, that's the end of the story. Mm. Goodbye. Come on, camp. Alright, I'm um, not gonna lie, my stomach is feeling a little bit weird. Alright, it's not. Listen, I'm not a bitch, alright? My stomach's a bitch, so I, I can't help it. We're here at around 12 p.m. and it's not that busy, which is good for us because we don't want to go when it's super packed, but not a lot of the stores are all open. So if you want to go when everything's open, experience the actual floating market atmosphere, you should go around 2 p.m. That's the recommended time. Yay! Yeah. We didn't know that. Don't go any earlier than 12 p.m. because there will be no one here and nothing yeah. will be open. Even though it's open at 8, doesn't mean it's yes. actually open. Yes. It's a dead town. Next snack we're having is this. I'm not too sure what it is, but it's a pretty dessert and it looks like it's uh, in a clay pot. I have no idea. Let's try one. All right, so here's our little treat. Um, it comes in this, what is this? Like a little lid. Is that? Oh no, that's just clay. Yeah, you can't eat this, right? No. Ow! <laughs> so you, it's like a little cup pretty much that you get. I don't really understand why we need plastic then if you got this. Yeah, that's It's weird. just a waste of plastic really. But um, really cool. You get a bit of clay. So Lena was like, um, are we supposed to return that after we're done? So look at it here. Very jiggly. Look at this. Look at that. Spank that. Spank that little flower. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Um, this looks like taro. Oh, it does. Hard taro. You've got some green stuff and some white stuff. I'm going to be uh, a bit strategic and just like take off that top layer because I saw a lot of flies. flies having a party on top of it and my stomach feels weird already. 
I swear to God, when I had that pad thai, and after I was done, instantly my stomach started feeling queasy and I'm clenching already. Anyway. He's but, got a really weak stomach. You guys got to know. He's got a like, bitch ass he's, stomach, man. He's a prince. He's not, he won't be able to eat like street food. Whereas like me, I'm fine. Let's try it out. It's uh, very soft. Ooh, at the bottom, there's like a, what is that, more taro? I think that's like taro at the bottom. I don't know, man. I don't, I'm not sure what I'm eating. If she said this was like shampoo or soap, God. I guess that's how I'll be testing out. Uh, our first traditional Thai dessert. I'm thinking it's a dessert. <laughs> Whoa. It's actually very tasty, okay? Squishy, sweet, delicious. A little bit of crunch from God knows what. The only problem I have with it is it's warm. And I, that's not like a cooking warm. That's the heat warm. And uh, my bitch ass stomach's not gonna be able to handle it, but for Thailand. There's a like corn in there. Oh, okay. What is going on? Oh, wow, okay. It's like a sweet, starchy dessert with corn bits. Oh. Let me try some. I think that's enough for you. <laughs> His stomach is not gonna be able to handle it. He won't be able to eat anything else. Ooh, so there's different layers. There's a white layer, and then inside, there's like a grayish layer. <laughs> oh my god, you know what? I think I've eaten something like this before. I think my grandma's made it. That is so delicious. He doesn't know because he doesn't eat Asian desserts, but I've eaten something like this before. It's like, I don't know what it's called. It's like, a bit ricey, it tastes like a bit ricey but sweet and then there's corn pieces inside. My grandma's made as well. Sweet rice pudding. Yeah, could be. With taro and corn. This is delicious, I love it. Highly recommend if you're into Asian desserts guys. This eat, is really good. Eat this though, eat the, the lid, it's actually edible. It's like a nice. cracker, it's a cracker, trust me. Have a bite. No, it's so hard. <laughs> The next floating restaurant we're at is this one that specializes in pork noodle soup and sea noodle soup. Uh, the menu's just right here too, so. We're eating right in front of the chef. How cool is that? This was prepared in about 10 seconds. You saw how fast that was. Here we've got a very thin strand of noodles. You've got a pork piece right here, a little bit of pork balls and a broth. Very interesting. Delaney's one is a sea noodle soup. Here we've got a fish ball, imitation crab, prawns, and uh, thin noodles as well. Sorry, th that's not imitation crab. That's real crab, guys. That's real crab. Yes. We've had For... real crab in Japan at uh, Kudamon Market. For a dollar. This whole thing is a dollar with real crab. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm gonna try out this soup broth. It's a pork broth, um, yellow, clear, and Oh yeah, right. Quite salty. It legit tastes like an MSG soup you'll get from a two minute noodles. But listen, can't expect too much from 20 baht noodles. Let's try the noodles and the piece of pork. That's, that's all of it. That's legit all the food in this one, in this one chopstick scoop. Mm. Delicious. I like that. It's pretty damn good. So this is a sea noodle soup. I'll try the broth first. I think it's the same seafood or does yours? Oh, well, that's a really nice broth. It's like legit two Salty minute MSG. noodles MSG. <laughs> I, I think it is the same broth. Right? Yeah, 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 it's the yeah, same broth. The same. So it's the, the only broth. difference that you get is you get seafood in this one and pork in that one. Yeah, just the ingredients. So, yeah, it's the same thing. Oh my God. Actually, I don't want to like grab one whole, whole thing at once because then that's it. You know what? You it's should buy gone. like, you need to buy like 10 or 20 of these because they're so cheap and you can finish them so fast. This is definitely a food eating competition. Mm, I like that. Not bad. For like, how much is 
many baht? A dollar? A dollar. Less One AUD? A dollar. Less than a dollar. Oh my god. Well, there you go. Really cheap noodles at this delicious place. 20 baht. That was pretty damn awesome. It was a legit a bite-sized noodle for 20 baht. Very tasty, very quick and easy. Definitely try it out, but order at least 10 bowls. We had one or two, that's enough for us. Next place we're eating at is this noodle shop. 20 baht noodles. You get to choose a different selection of noodles as well. And a whole bunch of different type of meats. I got the braised pork for 30 baht. Delaney got the fermented chicken with egg noodles. Can't wait to try it. I love this seating arrangement. You just sit across the water. So good. And here are noodles. I got the braised pork. Delaney got the chicken. I love the bowls they serve it in, very Thai style. And here you've got a whole bunch of condiments. You got your spices, your sugars, uh, your straws. Let's dig in. Let's see what the noodles look like first. Oh yes. So we both got eight noodles. Yeah. That, that one bite, just enough noodles for one bite. I love that. <laughs> Let's try it. All right, I'm gonna try out the broth. Uh, hope to God I don't drop this camera because it's going straight in the water. Oh wow, very interesting soup. Completely different to the previous one we had. It's a lot more meaty. It's very sweet, not too salty. Quite good, quite good. Let's try the noodles. Oh no, we'll have a bit of the braised pork. Check that out, guys. Mm, soft, delicious. We've got some vegetables in here. I'm gonna try these egg noodles. Wow, that's just, that's all you get pretty much for 30 bucks. Mm. 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 I got the fermented chicken. Mm. Oh, that's a really meaty broth. It tastes, if you're Vietnamese and you've tried it before, it tastes like more core. Yeah. Exactly like that, with egg noodles. Yeah. But a little lower in quality, I'm gonna have to say. Mm. <laughs> the flies are putting her off like crazy. Good chicken? Mm -hmm. Not bad? Minus 20 bucks. Really good fries. Delicious. I like it. Well, there you go. Delicious noodles. I have to finish this quickly in one bite. <laughs> Stomach status, it's feeling not too bad after those 20 baht noodles, so I think maybe I should try one of those fishy fishes. I don't know, maybe. We'll see how we go. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> now Delena's getting some dessert. It's mango with sticky rice, her favorite. 50 baht. Oh. We want the 100. Yeah. <laughs> right, look at all that mango, sticky rice for 50 baht. So cheap, la. It's so heavy. So you're meant to put coconut milk on it and drizzle it all over. Yeah. But I'm just gonna try without the coconut yeah, first. Yeah, make your life easy. Oh, wow. you get a lot of mango. That's some in here. soft mango. Could wow. you? Could you? No way. Just like is that. Is that? What kind of mango is that? Is it sweet though? I don't know if it'll be that sweet for 50 baht. It's a bit sour. It's uh, so weird because it's warm. So I'm eating like a warm mango, but it's really juicy though. Let me try some of the sticky rice. Sticky rice has some yellow bean in it. Hopefully it makes up for that sweetness. Mm. Yeah? That's good. Oh, no, no. You sure you don't want me to pop this open? Can you pour some on for me, please? Yeah, you might. I think you need it. Yeah. It's very important. Otherwise we'll people be doing it will be like, what are you doing? All right, let's do it. All right, we're gonna poke a hole in it. All right, put it in. <laughs> it 
So just like that? Yeah. So what is it? It's like a, a sweet... Don't just poke my feet. It should be coconut, oh, yeah. yeah? Yeah, sweet yeah. coconut. Little syrup. Get that nice combo going. Wow. Awesome. Mm. <laughs> it's still the same. <laughs> I don't like coconut. Yeah. So it's really strong coconut milk for me. Right. But the sticky rice is really good. Mango would have been better if it was probably sweeter. But otherwise, a good dessert. Not bad. Well, there you go, guys. I think it's time for my dessert. And here's my dessert, guys. I'm getting some fish. It's steamed. It looks, looks and smells extremely fishy. Whole bunch of flies on them, so it'll taste extra good. Let's try it out. Welcome to my dessert, a delicious Thai dessert. Two, oh, that's so sweet. It's like you and me, I feel bad now. Wow. Yeah, so basically I've been seeing these all over this floating market and people love it. They buy it by the dozen. So I want to try it out. Oh my God, it is so slimy. And this heat is not helping, I swear on my life. It breaks off though. The meat is very soft, breaking off very easily. Look at this. Like, look at this. Look at that. Incredible. Oh, okay. Maybe a lot better than I thought. I'm just going to eat it like it's a chicken wing. So, here we go. Cheers, guys. Dessert. It's not bad. It's just fish. Minimal seasoning. Not as fishy as it smells, though. Very delicious. Um, Good stuff. And that was the Empower Floating Market. Yes, a lot of fun, very interesting, a bit of a culture shock, but overall, a nice experience. Yeah. Listen, I would only come here if you want to check out the floating Ajumas. Otherwise, the food is just okay. Very cheap, very, very cheap. fun, but just okay. Yeah. It's very expensive to get here, it takes a while. So really think about it, research, and decide whether or not you want to come. Overall, a good experience. <laughs> Bye.